Hello everyone, my name is Rosie Grace and welcome back to the game Valhalla. Okay, let's see some news. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. Unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. Oh, so it's rare to access to. To ban instant food. So fried chicken. Fried chicken is so delicious. Is it that rare? Pretty sure the ones sold are fried pigeons. Oh. <laughs> well, I heard it's happening now too. Monster girlfriend Kirari becomes the game, the best-selling video game of all time. Do you want that game? Anime games are stupid. New ones at least. Is the waifu age real? Well, that's... There's your answer. Okay. Let's just go to work. G evening. Oh, Jill. Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Aw, I like that rat, Shiba. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with thousand grams of black fur on my lap? Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Alright. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more, the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. I'll just stick with this music. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valha- Uh, um... I want a fluffy dream. She looks like a student. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because, um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy drink. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I, I have money. The girl asked for a fluffy drink, but she's got to be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. I remember that fluffy drink doesn't need alcohol. It's optional. Yeah, right. Let's just give her juice. One, two, three. Oh, age ten minutes. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stop. Oh right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy, yeah. Which employee did you leave without a mega Christmas skill? Jill, please. It would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry kid, I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in an ear or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh, so if you would, please leave. I, I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. <sighs> Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. 
You look like a ni nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, me, Miss Bartender. Eh, uh, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can shit and probably will stop you. I just... I just wanted to be more wild, you know. Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. Oh my gosh. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she will leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny, I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and, a f and form a family. Oh. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Yeah, that's a very great point. Like, become a belly dancer because you wanna be a belly dancer? Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I... don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home, do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. GNJ, how are you doing? You're late. Miss me, Jay? You're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will we be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Okay, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes sir. Roll. Sir, yes sir. Pa. Sir, yes sir. Training, of course. He's only shouting sir, yes sir and not doing anything else though. I never said I did a perfect job. Is that a motorcycle? Oh shit! Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Ooh. Hello, you're giant. Uh, yes? Bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. <gasps> He's so like shocked. Oh, and promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. Who the hell are you? The other one? Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending! That's just a motorcycle. There's four riders then! Those are horsemen and it already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. Oh, I'll order something. I need a rest anyways. How can I get you? Uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. <clears throat> I'll have a bar's blast. Eh, uh, sure. 
What should I give him? I think he wanted Piano Woman, right? So he is kind of like afraid that he likes sweet, happy drinks. Well, I'll just give Piano Woman. I think that's the really one that he wants. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Age and mix. Please don't give me this as a mistake. Here. You look happy. Oh, shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, mister? Call me Mario, and yes, it's nice. You're Mario? <laughs> yeah, I have a red jacket. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry, it's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So do you work as Mario? As a plumber? Oh, I have to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail off of my engine sounds wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights, fuck the speed limits, fuck the helmet laws. The rules are mine and mine only, I am. Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady? I'll be back before long, don't worry. All right. Careful. Who was she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Er, uh, not, not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls either. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... So where do you work, Mario? I told you I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a career company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna is good reference. He kinda reminds me of... What was his name in the... Uh, the Walking Dead Season 1? Uh, what's the actor's name? Steve? He's a Korean guy? Steve. Steven Yoon, right, Steven Yoon. I forgot his, like, uh, Walking Dead name, but he was a delivery boy, maybe a pizza delivery boy, and he didn't like his life, so he was like, uh, living as a game while, like, the zombies were here. I think he will be, like, <laughs> Steven Yeun walking the knowing all the streets. But anyways, or I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, you bitch. He's trying to be a douchebag. Uh, do you want anything else, Mario? I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Uh, Gut punch, yeah, that one. Again, he asked for a gut punch, but I'm pretty sure he asked for a moon blast first. Why do you want to be a douchebag? Just be sweet, girly, happy. That's no problem. Six. One. 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 Two. I can blend it. Good. He's so happy. <laughs> it's a moon blast. I, uh, I, no, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working. Maybe when you arrive, I have to go to the bathroom. But after that, you just look cute. <laughs> cute. So why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. He applied that brand of logic here. I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I guess. 
you can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers... That sounded like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. Uh, today's uh, customers are really like... Make me think about life. Thinking about like the pressure or other people tell me what to do. It's just advice, don't take it too personally. Oh, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to, I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will I have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a fringe river. Sure. He actually asked for a fringe river instead of just something manly. Good for him. Yep, good for him. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight gems. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say that guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Not as far as I know. Do you think he... He? Well, never mind. I said nothing. He like... Gil. <laughs> Please come again. Uh, Gil, you... You heartbreak, you fuck boy. Eh, uh, what? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, girl. Okay, careful. Maybe Gil is so popular. Handsome? <laughs> Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. What does that mean? Okay, what should I do? Let's change some music. But I really like Lee Snowfall. <laughs> so not changing that. But things are so like kind of loud, so I don't like that. I like things that are... Kind of quiet. Alright, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Raj Shiba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they say, Ah, dog! Oh, you don't like it. What's so, little girl? What are you doing in the bar? H honey some help here. Hey, Don, I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Well, you really are bad at dogs, eh? Did I make it too obvious? Why though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they are given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with the fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct though. Thank God. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I have a bleeding Jane. Oh, a AI also have period time? Coming right um, up. A bleeding jade for 30 and or over time of the month. <laughs> a bleeding jade, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> what? Like, you kind of imagine that sight. Oh, one, two. Oh, what, what, what happened? <laughs> three. One, one, two, three. Alright. So AIs do have their period. Well, they have like uh, random traits like fearing dogs. Well, that's not me. The time of the month, do Lilin menstruate? 
Yes. Oil. Oil? No, still, we don't. Oh. Okay, I was full. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding Jane. So how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Thursday in their lives. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had a competition. Of course they do. Both humans and women have the thing go sexy Santa dress and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regular is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Oh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve them too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic plus policy. 40%? You know, from the neck up, dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? Not just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity led me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy, a big one, would you? Alright. A big blue fairy for the small pink haired pixie. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Let's just give you one. Eight. And make it. There we go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he seen was his puke. Ew. Oh. You know, earlier today, there was a mega cursed spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. Uh, the what? <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little wants to be human. It's then when I say, no, I want you. <laughs> After that, I say, Well, at the very least, I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. Oh my gosh. I always thought about screaming, Help, I'm being molested. But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after. Huh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that, it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers, I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 8, 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age though. Why didn't you? That's how dangerous everything's been lately. Every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. Just for a cobalt velvet. Weird. Yeah, she likes sweet 
drinks, not like classy drinks. <laughs> music is like so dreamy. Cobalt velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for those drinks. Hey honey, what day's today? Wednesday? No, the number. The number. Number? 21st. Shouldn't you know that? I'm a Lilith, not a calendar. I thought you wouldn't know that much. Next you're gonna tell me to make some convoluted calculation. Y you can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have quick access to. Yes, I have an inner calendar and a calculator, but those are used in lots of other operations every second. I could do all that, but it's a lot quicker to just ask you. I see. Why do you need the date though? I have something to do on the 26th. Uh, oh, hello. Are you trying to say something to me? I've been avoiding it for a while now. Oh, but don't worry. It's nothing dangerous or anything like that. Just heavy. Would you like some help? Would you help me? If you tell me what it is you need help with. Maybe later. I have to go now. See you later. Bye. Do you think she really can access calendars and calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like how even if I text persistent and can't access the computer's calendar, you don't use it for that. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> uh, you really look like a game anime game cra character. Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school? That would be a hassle. Oh god, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. For the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking become a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of teens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there had been two kids already. Yeah. How would Barton they become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids cartoon don't show any alcohol. True. Um, excuse me miss? This is no place for kids so you should... Um, girl she's staring too much and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything, she's not causing trouble and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be, maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Jill? How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out with the bear? Right. Haven't I seen that girl before? Ah! It, it's the... It's the... It's Jill's ex-girlfriend's sister! Younger sister! I saw the picture. Oh, so that's why she was just staring at Jill, like... Because Jill is not remembering her. Aww. Why did she come here? Oh, it's that girl. Here. Thanks, and lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Alright, yeah. There's a bottle of karma train that's some, like, like a month past expiration. Do it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. 
I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um. Hey, Jill. Bah! Again, aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe what did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did, why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week, so I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Trunk change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once and the old lady started it. <laughs> right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays or physical money when you get down to it? For the reason arcade still exists, those tells yeah. Yeah, this is like in Korea retro as like neutral is really booming right now. Hey miss. Uh-uh, yeah? Do you recognize me? Yeah, you're the sister of her ex-girlfriend with Jill's ex-girlfriend. I want to say I do, but, uh, sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? My own? Sister, sorry, but I don't have any si sister Not even a sister-in-law? Don't wait, Gaby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. R right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl, uh, my ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission test. I'll be out of middle school next year. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you want to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Oh, well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's an... She was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Color is surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so how's Leonard doing? She's dead. Uh, sorry, I didn't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gaby, stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all marry her, mixing drinks and chatting? Wait, Lunar was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all that the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be married worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. That's just speculation you can't expect. And all of that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I... Infected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've even heard she was sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared, but I needed to grab a hold of my life. 
but it has nothing to do with your sister. I... I love her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. You are cheap. I know. Come on, Jill. Let's take you home. Oh. Again, this conversation is so... Jill wanted to apologize to her ex-girlfriend or like talk to her, but she realized that she's dead and her sister blames her for that. Home sweet home. Hey Jill, do you want to grab something to eat? So maybe that's the reason why all the clients were talking about their lives, how to live their lives. I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? Uh, I'm fine, I just... I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill... You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay! It's... It's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. It, it's just... I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My, my old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. And not only that, but I lashed out at her too. Her story fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't caught her back then and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks boss. I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny. You hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you or if you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four. She's in your care. Are you here? Yeah. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. You're a good friend. Remember, I'm here for you anytime. Good. I need $8,000. Jill is feeling down, but she really liked that classic game poster she saw. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh, she's quiet right now. I feel really sad too. So, this poster for some classic game about a pink haired witch flying on a broom. That's okay. Let's just give you this. Jill smiled a bit at the kitty's poster. Aww, she's still... Aww. Well, I on this episode here, this kind of makes me down to... <sighs> okay, see you next time. And wait for the next episode. Thank you.